Hey there, everybody. My name is Scott Seymour. I'm the Regional Maintenance Supervisor for MIW, also the maintenance guru for the Michigan West Division. Today, we're going to talk about water meters, specifically one way that we can verify that a meter is reading correctly. We've all had those times when a resident's meter seems to be off, sometimes way off, whether it be high or low. When this happens, we need to do what we can to make sure we correct the issue. When a meter read is high, the first thing we want to do is make sure that there are no leaks within or under the home. Even a running toilet can run a lot of water and run a bill up very quickly. So once we've confirmed that there are no leaks, we're going to do what is called a water flow test, also known as the five gallon bucket test. For this, we're going to need a few things. Since we will be crawling under the home potentially to get to the water meter, we want to make sure that we have our safety glasses and of course some gloves. But as far as this test itself goes, you're only going to need one thing, a five gallon bucket. The process is actually very simple. The very first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that all water is shut off within the home. Once you verify this, we can move on to step two. Step two is going to be to verify that the water is off throughout the home. We've looked at all the faucets in the home and we've looked under the home, but now we're going to verify this by going to the meter itself. Now every meter is a little different, but every meter is also very similar. So we're going to do this by going and looking at what's called the low flow gauge. Every meter is different. Some will be the star shaped things you see at my finger. Some will be triangular shaped. Either way, if it is spinning even slowly, that means there is still water flow throughout the home somewhere and probably caused by a leak. And that may be the cause of your high water bill. If this is not moving, the water is shut off and we're ready to move on to the actual water test. Next, we want to move outside and we want to record the existing water meter reading, making sure to write down every number that's on it for comparison future. This will be very important when we're done with this. Thankfully on this home, we have an external reader, so we don't need to crawl under the home to get to the meter. Let's see, 2499, got it. So now we're to the actual testing part of this. What we're gonna do is take our five gallon bucket Go to an outside faucet. You don't want to use an inside spigot for this, but go outside and we're going to run this bucket full three times to make 15 gallons. Now, most buckets are measured about one inch down from the top. So if you look, it's hard to see, but inside this bucket, I've made a mark approximately an inch down. This will help verify our number and make sure we have 15 gallons as close as possible. Now that we've finished flowing our 15 gallons of water, we can go back to the reader or the meter and record our new number and, ver and then subtract the difference between the two. Let's see, we are now at 2513. We were at 2499 to start. We did 14 gallons of water there. I would say we're good enough to say at this point, this meter is reading accurately. Thank you for watching everybody. I hope you learned something and this video is beneficial. Stay tuned for more in the future. And stay safe, everybody.